Yep, I was worried about that. I don't want the magic outfit on! <laughs> Alright. Hey guys! It's Nightcase. I'm here with Mr. Husband. Hello! And we are having this month's box to box So we're gonna be trying the treats in here. We already have the tea prepared like we usually do. I'll put this over here so Mr. Husband can reach it as well. Uh, I think it still needs to cool down. But this month's theme is Summer Matsuri, which is Summer Festival, in case you are not aware of what Matsuri means. Hi! <laughs> uh, so we'll probably do it like we did last time and do it in order. So the first treat are these which are Kakagori Shaved Iced Gummies. And it says, Nothing will cool you down on a hot summer day like a bowl of shaved ice. But these Kakagori gummies are pretty refreshing. Each bag has three popular shaved ice flavors. Strawberry, lemon, and blue soda. The gummies are shaped like mounds of flavored Kakagori and have different textures to suit the flavor. Oh, different textures? Yep. Interesting. So that's what the package looks like. And this month, the gummies are resealable, it seems. Nice, nice. So... I want to taste the different textures. Yeah, I don't know what they mean oh, by that. Oh, goody goody. One of each. Yep. So those are the, uh, the three colors. Alright. Try the blue soda one. The strawberry one is pretty tangy. Here, I got the strawberry one for you as well. Alright. I don't think it's like a different texture between each of them, but there is a notable flavor difference. The uh, strawberry one has more tart flavor, where the soda one has a more, like, ramen kind of light flavor. And I'm going to try the lemon now. So, I actually know what they're doing with the, the texture differences. The, the blue, whatever, soda. Yeah was uh oh thick crystals of sugar yeah it can and taste it like eating beach sand kind of like that was the texture yeah and then the lemon has like a medium coarse yes the, the and lemon then is kind of medium coarse and tastes like more crystal sugary yep and then the uh strawberry has the a finer strawberry, yeah you, you, you can really taste them it's just like normal gummies with a little coating on it but you can see it actually in the packaging too I didn't notice before. Um, I, I kind of don't like the taste of it. It has some weird after flavors. <laughs> the, they all taste different. Uh, yep. I like the strawberry one the best and the soda one second best. Yeah, I think I like the strawberry one best and the lemon one second best. But lemon one has kind of a bad aftertaste. Mm -hmm. And the, the coarseness of the blue one is bad. Mm. So, we've actually had this one. All right. This is a repeat from our first box from them because they did a they do a sampling for the first box whenever you buy uh, the box through subscription. So, we've already had this one. But let me see if I'll find it. I we think can we try. Liked it, all right. Yeah, we liked it. Try we, it again. Yeah. You can watch the first one. And I'll get the you know, the same kind of reaction probably. Well, we'll see. I mean, you yep. can go look it up and see. I may change oh my, my goodness, reaction, there's on. a bunch in here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff, yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff this month. Alright, so... Oh, we're gonna do an order. Yeah. These are what the candies look like. You want to open it and I'll read off yeah. the thing. So these are the Mako-chan Dango Mochi. Japan is known, for, known worldwide for being a country of mochi, which is traditionally rice cake 
like usually eaten with uh, eaten for dessert. These dango mochis are covered in a sugar crystal and are chewy and delicious treat. Traditionally enjoyed during summer festivals and served on skewers to enjoy outdoors. I'll have the pink one. If I remember correctly, the colors don't really taste different on this one. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there is like a softer marshmallow. I prefer this taste to marshmallow taste. Yeah, it's, it's denser. Mm -hmm. Like a denser marshmallow kind of taste. Or no, uh, density. Yep. Blah. Here, texture, I'll eat the other one Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, did you already eat it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you were going to eat it. So there's that one. They're good. They just have a light sugary taste. And yeah. They have kind of a whatever mochi flavor is. Okay, so the next thing is our tea. All right. So let me have a sip. I don't know that you're going to like this one. This is Oku or Oku you Oku ki Rishima tea. Yep. Using the finest Sencha green tea leaves in the Kirishima in from Kirishima in Kogam, Kogashima Prefecture. This tea has a subtle sweet notes and rich full body silky mouthful. It has an elegant flavor profile and would be well suited for both fancy occasions or morning cuppa. Yeah, and I didn't so. I did actually brew it correctly. Ha ha ha. It tastes alright. This kind of weird green tea flavor. Yeah. It's it's not as strong as normal green tea, it's a little smoother maybe. Yeah, it's it a lot smoother. Smells bad. <laughs> it See, has kind of a slight like, I don't like the smell. It's the matcha smell. It's the smell that you and Zach equate to as a fish smell, but it's not actually fish. But yes, I know what smell you're talking about. I enjoy this because it is a smoother green tea. It doesn't have as much bite as a normal, like, leaf green tea does. Like, this tastes more like the powdered green tea matcha, but it was a uh, leaf one. So I'm assuming that's what they were going for with that. Yeah, it's right. fine. So it's we're going... Fine. The next thing we're going to have is a potato snack with wasabi flavor. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. do the wasabi. That's this one. I'm the guy at the restaurant that likes to... Uh, yeah, you can open that while I read this. Horseradish. It's, it's not really wasabi here. Yeah. But, you know, it's green horseradish. and Fried potato and shape, sharp wasabi make a great combination for this crispy, flaky treat. Each disc is made with potato-based batter and deep-fried for a shatteringly crisp texture. The oil mellows out the kick of the wasabi powder, and so it isn't too spicy. Mmm. They're good. Just I like actually that. really like that, yeah. It has the distinct wasabi flavor, but it doesn't have the that we usually have like with it there's like a tangy sensation that hits your tongue with kind of like a tang but that's yep. it it's it is mm. similar to the tanginess of vinegar without the mm. vinegar taste mm -hmm. um, i like those though here oh they're a little sweet so it just looks like that but it was a complete circle before i broke it yeah they're um they're like a puffy potato chip it's got a very thin thin crispy layer Yeah, I like those. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of those. We got two more packs. Good. <laughs> yeah, those are nice. Yep. All right. On to the next one. The grilled corn umeshi rice cracker. Umeshi. The grilled corn is a staple at Japanese summer festivals, and you can enjoy a flavor of these thin, crisp rice crackers. They're covered with a flavorful powder... Blend with sweet corn and a fragrant soy sauce for every bite that has both natural sweetness and umami. Yep. Sounds like standard Japanese snacky. Flavor talk. Yeah. Um, let's see here. That's these. Okay. So here is the package. I think it's funny that they 
just put a little corn flavoring on, on a rice cracker when we just have like corn chips. Over here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they just yeah, throw like little chips. Small wafers, yeah. Yeah. There's so like little discs. So. They're really interesting. I've never put anything in my mouth with just kind of texture when you're eating it. It has it a is, weird sweetness flavor to it. It's that soy kind of. It's really hard to describe. Let's see here. It's it's like a smooth uh, cracker. It's not porous or bready or crumbly at all. Yeah. It's smooth and hard. Mm-hmm. And then when you chew it up, you're hit with a bunch of savory, yeah, different kinds of savory flavors. And it's really weird. The texture is extraordinarily crunchy, and it gets kind of soft though when you, when it's in your mouth, and you have a kind of a buttery aftertaste. Kind of. I feel like the buttery corn aftertaste is what I'm... It's also this weird thing where it's... I know they do sweet corn over there, and it's, like, actually sweet, but I don't think I've actually ever smelled something that I would say is sweet corn smelling. But as savory as these snacks are when you eat them, they smell so sugary and sweet that I'm very surprised at how it tastes. Yeah, it's not... It's not bad, but the... It is a very different, like, texture thing. There, there will definitely be people that don't like these because of the texture of them. Oh, yeah. So the next one is the Doro Chaco. Oh, chocolate. Yep. I finally get a chocolate sandwich Here. cookie. Doro Chaco is a cuter, more compact version of a snack called Doriyaki. Doriyaki is a common Japanese treat made with two pancake-like... Costella cakes, oh gosh, sandwiched are, with a red bean paste. Yeah. <laughs> sandwiched with red bean paste with a chocolate center rather than the usual red bean paste. These doriaki are is doriaki is an interesting spin on the traditional and keep things fresh and interesting. They have the exact same consistency. They're just tiny little as a, pancakes. It's a dry pancake. Like exactly. It's so cute. I've had Doriaki before. And yeah. It's, they're just little pancakes with chocolate filling. And honestly, that's good. Like, this is... Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. They've made the A chocolate filling... pancake sandwich with chocolate. They've made the chocolate filling a more red bean paste consistency, though. Which, honestly, I don't mind. So, perfectly fine with that. Hang on, let me have some tea. If the chocolate is in a thick paste form, <coughs> it's not like uh, like a melty sort of chocolate kind of thing where it's on. Uh, nor is it a cream. It's, it's a paste, a thick paste. So I have a confession about this. So every time we get these packages, I open them up to make sure that everything looks okay and there's no damage to them. And we found that this company that makes hard candy specifically for Boxu, I've loved every flavor they've made that we've gotten. So as soon as I saw that these were in here, I had to open it up and have one. So far, the alcohol one was my favorite, the one with the, the yes. bit of alcohol in it. Mm -hmm. This one is probably my favorite, actually, since I've tried it. You'll probably want to wait until the last to try this, though. Okay, it's it is pretty a, strong flavored. It's pretty strong flavored, and it's also, like, interesting. But I want you to try this one on camera for sure, so. Oh, it was the yuzu flavor. Yes, because the it yuzu flavor. It in the red up. Here, yeah. let me read it. Yeah. Just like the original iconic summertime drink, Ramune, this uniquely carbonated fizzy candy is truly refreshing. With over 37 flavors of Ramune, including, uh... Yuzu, kiwi, and curry. Blah. Yeah. <laughs> we chose to recreate the classic soda pop flavor to help. Oh, with help from 
Daimonji skilled. skilled artisans. Yep. And so, it actually is fizzy. That's one of the things that I'm going to say right now. So, like, there's... Uh, I'm going to hijack the, the thing real quick. That's and, fine. and talk about Zots. Okay. So there's this old Italian candy that's a hard candy that has a fizzy center called Zots. That's the tea. And I used to eat them as a kid. I remember Zots. Yeah, they... they they have them in some places in America. They, they may still have them. But that's what... I'm sure it's the same thing where it's like a, a powder inside the hard candy. It's... Uh, mm -hmm. What is that? Baking baking powder. Mm -hmm. Fizzes when it comes in contact with water. That's probably what it is. Flavored baking powder mm -hmm. that is inside there. Yeah. Alright. So our next one is Pudding a la Mode Sandwich Cookie. If you want to open it. Right. Pudding a la mode is a popular Japanese dessert for pudding served with ice cream and fruit. Often a beautiful display, this great summer treat has been transformed into a sandwich cookie with uh, chocolate biscuits, creamy pudding flavored filling, and dried fruit with orange and strawberries. It almost smells like tiramisu. Like, kind of bad restaurant. Oh, tiramisu I can actually... It doesn't have a lot of the coffee in there. You can actually That's what see that the... Like. Yeah. You can actually see the fruit and stuff in there. It's interesting smelling. It doesn't smell bad. Here, I'll let you have a bigger bite of All that. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't like that <laughs> texture. Yeah, I oh. The dried fruit in there gives it a very, like, odd texture. Yeah, so you have, like, a chocolate cookie outside. Ah. And then and inside is a mixture between cream and kind of, like, deflated, stale, puffed rice. But it's that fruit or whatever that they have in there. Yeah, it's the dried fruit. That, yeah. And so it's like a mixture of that where it's mostly that kind of fruit with little, like puffy sort of uh, cream consistency in there it's yeah i don't like it it's definitely not a, a fun texture but it doesn't you know it did taste pretty good it kills it for me that's probably my least favorite one so far all right so our next one we've had plenty of simbe in our boxy boxes but this one is a butter mochi simbe butter mochi is a specialty in akita prefecture but is growing in popularity across Japan for its rich flavor. This snack captures the sweet, buttery flavor of delicious rice crackers made with Japanese domesticated rice. That's the only rice cracker out there. Yeah, we have a couple of them in there. That's a different consistency. This kind of reminds me of the one crackers that we got that I really liked. It's it's super puffy and soft, and then while you're chewing it, it's already dissolving in your mouth. Like mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have any of that residual like crispiness or mm -hmm. whatever. It just bleh, it dissolves. I love that a flavor lot of powder though. Powder on it. I love that flavor. It's a very it like a... mildly sweet flavor, which I'm guessing is the mochi. Yeah, it, it, it's mildly sweet flavor with like a savory aftertaste. Yeah, it was it was fun. This is the one thing you can't have. Oh no! It's got fish. So these are takoyaki Thai corn puffs. It's got octopus in the center! Yep. So the classic Japanese street food made with pan frying batter in a specially shaped pan from little fried balls with taco, octopus, in the center. It's often topped with a variety of flavor toppings. These light corn puffs are the perfect balance of sweet and savory, umami rich flavor. These don't actually have them in there, honey. That was just how, like, describing what takoyaki is. Uh, it doesn't actually have octopus in them. Let me see the package. Oh, it's all in Japanese. Oh, lovely. There we go. Does it smell fishy? especially fishy? No, it smells like some of the, like the 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 sweet 
dark sauce. Do you want to try it? The, the sweet fish sauce in Japan or something. Mmm. And that's oh, all it tastes like. That, it just tastes like the takoyoko sauce. Those... Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's with the little... Mm -hmm. They have a similar sauce for, like, dongo and stuff. No. No, yeah, that's a different sauce. Yep. <laughs> it looks the same, though. I know what you're talking about. It's like a brown sauce. Yeah. Mm. I like those. They're just, like, corn puffs that are flavored, like, takoyaki toppings. It actually doesn't taste very takoyaki-like, but it tastes like the sauce and the uh, the parsley on it. Like, I actually can taste the parsley. Like, they did a good job in getting that flavor in there. Alright. Maple cream pancake. Yep. That sounds like something we should have been getting from Canada. Right? I like the packaging on this one. It's got, like, a cool guy on it. We have two things that are... Uh... Pancakes with some yeah. kind of cream in them. These are daiyaki, takoyaki or something like that, yeah. The snack smells like a cozy breakfast in bed and will bring a smile to your face as you open the package. Inside are two soft pancakes sandwiched with maple buttercream filled with filling for a breakfast snack on the go. Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wash your face with my big eye. Let's see okay. if it makes you smile while you open it. Oh yeah, this smells like pancakes, like she directly. Did in fact smile. Yeah. Oof, oof, oof. It smells like imitation vanilla uh, <laughs> extract. That, Look at that, that vaguely stamp. like alcoholic scent. Look at that stamp. And the fake vanilla smell. That's so cool. Oh yeah, just like the other one. It's kind of pulls apart. Freaking like pancake. This one is moister and softer. Mm-hmm. I didn't give you half. I was giving you some more since I didn't give you a full half. I like that one. It tastes very buttery. Very lightly maple, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't taste maple at all. Yeah. I taste some a kind of a, tiny bit, but that's it. A tangy, sort of like caramelly taste. I would be surprised if they use any actual maple in there. I actually don't like that one as, you know, it, the taste is kind of like artificially tasting. That's fine. You don't if have to like it. If you're used to actual maple things. Then Look at this sucker. You're probably going to be disappointed. I'm guessing that's chocolate and puffed rice. You want to read it? In this snack, traditional manaka meets a candy bar. Manaka are a type of Japanese confection with two mochi wafers and closing a filling traditionally made of sweet red or white bean paste. Instead, this snack is filled with chocolate covered puffed rice. So exactly what I thought. Mm -hmm. oh, one of them is completely come uncovered on one side, so... I'm probably gonna like this, because I like both chocolate and puffed rice. Yep. And Oof. wafers. And so do I, so... This one is the messiest, though. This is what it looks like when it doesn't have the one popped off. The, the wafers are slightly... Toasted tasting, like toasted rice. Mm hmm And the chocolate is extremely rich. I'm really surprised by that. Lightly sweet. If they sold these in America, I would buy these all the time. Oh, here. I'm going to have the rest then, if you oh, like thank that. thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, these are, this is probably going to be my favorite thing out of the box. That's fine. You can have the rest then. I think we only have one of those. Yeah, because that was a big item. I think this is our last item. Yep. So this is the chocolate banana... Launch the Chot Cookie. So, chocolate banana Launch the Chot holds a rich banana sweet cream sandwich between two crispy chocolate biscuits. Chocolate banana are a popular summer treat in Japan. This fruity cookie brings delightful flavor of summer as a sweet little treat.
Yeah, it just looks like cookie and banana. Yep. Filling. You'll probably like this one better than me. Oh, it smells like banana. It smells strongly of like artificial shit. banana flavoring. I don't know. Yeah, it's the artificial banana flavor. Yep. Nope. Nope. Don't like that one. Uh, it might actually have some actual, like, real banana in there. Maybe. Maybe that's why it's so strong. Yeah, because it tastes... It definitely has some of the artificial banana flavoring in it, but I, I taste undertones of, like, real, actual banana. I'm not a big fan of bananas in general. I like dried bananas, but that's about it, and so they've lost a lot of their flavor that way. But yes. Alright, so the last thing you're going to try is the ramen candy. Yeah, I like that one. And then we can talk about what It has a very strong banana flavor. Yes. I'm actually surprised that it's not that the Japanese don't like strong flavors, but I'm just I'm su I'm surprised that it's that banana flavor. Here you go. All right, so he's trying the ramen candy. I've already had one, and so I'm not gonna I'm gonna be saving these. These are some of my favorite things that we get in the box, so it's gonna go on my desk up here. So I don't like the texture. Of it. <laughs> I wasn't certain you were going to or not. Tiny ridges in it, and it feels just like a rough and sandpaper in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But it is fizzy. Yep. It's, it's got some of that powder in it, and I think it may be like all the way through, or in little layers, or mixed in with the sugar base or something. I don't know. Because I'm feeling a slight, constant, like, tingly, fizzy sensation, which is pretty cool, but the, the rough texture of it is pretty awful. The taste is really light, and it doesn't taste like anything, just like a slightly sweet flavor of some kind. I mean, that's kind of what the ramen -A, like, basic one is. is very, like, light flavor. Yeah, it's I a base it soda. It really tastes like that. Yeah. Alright. So, let's change it up this month. Tell me first what your least favorite is. Um... You want me to flip through or anything? Yeah, flip through. I'm going to go with probably the the gummy shaved ice. Really? It's a tie between that and flip back. I didn't like... Now go back. It's the little... Um, Pudding a la mode sandwich cookie. Really? Okay. And this thing is a three-way tie for last. Well, it tastes bad. Give it enough time. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Well, the pudding a la mode is definitely my least favorite. I, I really dislike that texture that the, uh, the, uh, fruit gives it. The dried fruit. Um... What's your favorite one? Uh, oh, hands down, it's the, the whatever this thing is, the crispy yeah, the, rice. This it's, thing. It's great. Yeah. I would buy that. Uh, I mean, like, if they sold that in gas stations or you know the grocery store or whatever, I'd I'd always you know have them. I actually have a three-way tie for mine, for my favorite ones. Yeah. And it is the Doro Choco 
the butter mochi simbe and then the uh, maple pan cream pancake. I really like those. And I wouldn't be able to choose which one. I actually really do like these two, so these are like a close second. I know they're a snack that you won't steal from me, so. You can have them all. Yep. Um, My second favorite was the, the, um, sorry. No, you're fine. The wasabi uh, chips. Oh yeah, these yep, wasabi those. chips. Those tasted real good. I'd also buy those if they came in like a, a big bag. Yeah, instead of just like the individual like two crackers. Yeah, I think that's a little, a little Much. too yeah. small a serving. Unless they're somehow super caloric or something. Which I don't think they Ultra are. Salty. They're Everything's 42 calories. They're 42 kcals. I don't know how many. No, that, that, that's equal to one of our calories. Okay, so yeah. It's 42 kcals for a pack. Calories. So. I'm just reading off the package, jeez. Yeah, I think that was it. K is denoting thousand. Oh, are these? Oh, these are the same. They got like little cow prints on them. I didn't notice that before. That's so, it. yeah. Well, the tea's alright. It's yeah. kind of bad. It's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not one of the better teas we've had. Yep. Last month was the best tea. Yes. Yep. But yeah. That's it for this month's uh, Boxu Taste Test. Thank you for those. I know that I've seen a couple people coming in and out of the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and anybody that watches the VOD, thank you for watching. And over on YouTube, also thank you for watching. But we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>